Hey everyone, it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday and I'm in a different spot than I normally am. Normally I start out my vlogs by shooting in the truck, but today's a special day. A little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a product review here. Just got a delivery in from Amazon uh, through UPS and I've been waiting for this. Uh, one of the problems that I have shooting in my office uh, is sound. Sound is a really difficult for me to capture down here in this office. So, uh, the other thing also is uh, I want to use my 50 millimeter lens down here, but in order for me to use the 50 millimeter lens, I've got to push the camera back. And when I push the camera back, my Rode mic picks up a lot of the ambient noise. Now, what I've done in the past is I've used lapel mics that were wireless and uh, again, like I've said before in this vlog, uh, I am doing this on the cheap. Uh, so what would happen with those is I would get hisses, I would get interference, and the sound, it was atrocious. Like I said, if I use the Rode mic on this, I pick up all the noise from the basement, any anything, and because the, the mic is so far away from me, it um, the, the sound is horrible. So what I ordered, let's break this open. And if this works, it's a pretty good deal. What I ordered was a Sony lapel mic. Okay, this is a wired mic. And what I ordered with it is two extension cables. Uh, the reason I ordered two is they are the wrong ones. Son of a They're the wrong cables. Oh, God. I can't believe I ordered the wrong ones. You ever just know you're going to have one of those days? Well, I'm going to have to send these back. Those are garbage. I can't use those. Those are quarter inch. Oh, I don't believe I did that. So, guess what? I'm not using the extension cables. But what we'll do is let's see how long the cable is on this. Oh, let's break it open. I'm going to use this anyway. Let's open it up. Got the instructions with it. And here's my lapel mic. Just got a little bit of cable here. The thing that kills me with the extensions is I have one and I cannot find it for the life of me. So, let's check. So, okay, so here we go. We've got the Sony lapel mic. And about four feet of cable, which is not gonna help me. Okay, so it spins, so let's set it up. And what I'm gonna do is let me hook it onto the camera and let's see how it sounds. All right, so I'm back. I am now using the Sony lapel mic. Uh, only thing I don't like is it is very noticeable. To, oops, as I kick my camera tripod here. Uh, so I have to figure out a way to kind of hide it and see how the sound is. Now, with it being, this is an omnidirectional microphone where the Rode is a shotgun mic, so it's pointing directly at me, so it will record, you know, directly at me. Whereas this Sony is omnidirectional, so it records anything behind me, in front of me, anything. So if it's rubbing up against my shirt, you'll get that. So it's one of the things I'm going to have to keep in mind when I use this microphone. Yeah, so uh, I think that this should work. This will work great if I'm going to be outside once I get the extension. Uh, and we'll figure out the, the best way to do this. This is the Sony ECM-CS3 microphone. It's, I paid 19 and change. It actually went on sale today for 17 and change. Again, it figures. Uh, so, I don't know, I think it's pretty good. Let's take it off and let's see how far away. Let's see if it records, if I keep it down here, how the recording is. Uh, did my voice go down way too much? Uh, or how about up here? Well, we'll see. We'll check out the volume and everything when I render this. But anyway, 
Well, other than me being disappointed, I, again, I can't believe that I did that. Oh, what a dummy. But this is um, basically an unboxing of the Sony ECM CS CS3 microphone. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you think it sounds, uh, whether I should stick with the Rode mic or whether to use the lapel mic here. So, all right, uh, I'm going to go searching around some more. Uh, maybe this is an omen telling me that that cable is somewhere in this house and it's just hidden. Uh, I'll go from there. So let me get back to you in a little bit. Let's see if I can find that, uh, that extension cable. All right, everyone. <sighs> frustrated there because I ordered the extension cables and I ordered quarter wrench and that's not the size that I needed but when in a situation like this you improvise so I'm gonna try something and let's see if this works I went on two adapters let's see if this works so what we'll do is we will plug this adapter under there and this adapter under there so now I have an extension cable this is 10 feet but we're going to test it real close here because I've got my 10 to 18 millimeter lens on there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut you off for a second and I'm going to attach this to the lapel mic and let's see if it works be right back with you all right, everyone, I now have the extension cable hooked up to the lapel um, and it's into the camera. So let's see how this is recording. Uh, I'm probably going to have to adjust sound levels on this. So if the sound sounds horrible on this, haven't had a chance to check it yet. So I, I apologize if it's a mess. Uh, not 100% sure whether these jacks are going to work. We'll see. All right, I'm now switched over to the 55 millimeter lens. Uh, to get this much of me in frame, the camera now is probably about eight to 10 feet away from me. Uh, two reasons why I was looking for the lapel pen, and you'll notice it in this recording here, or in the audio here, is due to the camera happening to be so far away from me, the road mic isn't picking up my voice as cleanly the second thing is, is the 50 millimeter lens that I have, it's the cheap lens. You can hear the autofocus going crazy right now. Uh, so the shot is really good. I, I haven't checked yet, but I think it is. I think I may be a little overexposed, but I got to play with the lights and I'm doing this real quick right now. Uh, but the, the noise, the audio on this, I can't use this. It looks absolutely horrible. So... Let's see how it works when I switch over to the lapel mic and I use the 55 millimeter lens. So I'll be back with you. One second. All right, everyone, I got the lapel mic hooked up right now. I'm having problems with the adapters, uh, the jacks. Uh, it only seems to be recording in mono. I'm going to see if I can fix this in post production, but it's not exactly what I want. So, like I said, I'm going to have to order the correct uh, extension cables that I need. Uh, I thought I'd get away with a nice easy one here just using this. But you get the general idea of what I want to do. Uh, I should be nice sharp in focus. The back should be out of focus. I think that I can actually kind of look at the little monitor on the camera and it doesn't look like I'm looking at it. I'm hoping that is because I'm looking at the monitor quite a bit on this. But it's just, this is something that I'm trying out to get a better, uh, more, a better shot, a uh, more interesting shot, I guess, uh, to look more professional, maybe. I'll try. So, you know, <laughs> we'll see. But like I said, this is the Sony ECM3SC, uh, what are they calling it? They're calling it the tie clip microphone. It's a lapel mic, a lavalier mic. They go under a lot of different mics uh the names of it anyway but it does work very pretty well i plugged it directly into the phone 
into the phone, into the camera, and it worked really well. So uh, I know that it's not the microphone that's causing the problem. It is the extension cord or the, yeah, that's an extension cord. Why, why am I questioning that? <clears throat> but anyway, this has been an incredibly frustrating night, and it's all of my own doing. Uh, it, it is working. It is what I want it to do. Uh, so when I get the proper cable, it'll work perfectly. That being said, <laughs> after this frustrating night, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. Check out a link below uh, for the Sony Lavalier mic. I'll put it right down below. Uh, if you click on that and you do purchase this microphone, I do get a percentage of it. So uh, if you are looking for one of these mics, I appreciate it if you purchase it through my Amazon link. Uh, if not, it's a great, it's, it's a pretty good mic for the price. Like I said, 20 bucks, you can't, you can't go wrong. That being said, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I am going to end the video right here. If you're new to my vlog, thank you for coming. I do appreciate it. Uh, it's, I, I do a bunch of different things on this vlog, so come back different times, check it out. If you liked what I did here, click on the thumbs up over here. Uh, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, uh, how I could have done this better, leave me a comment below. Uh, if you're not a member or haven't subscribed to my vlog, click right over here on the subscribe button and you'll be able to see every vlog that I've done for the past four years. Speaking of that, tomorrow is my four-year anniversary of daily vlogging or somewhat daily vlogging on YouTube. Hope to have a really special video for you tomorrow. Uh, hopefully life doesn't get in the way of me making a special video, but I really hope to have a really nice video for you tomorrow. That being said, oh, forgot one other thing. See the little bell icon over there next to the subscribe button? If you click on that, you get a notification anytime that I put up a new video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. The last year, four years of doing these vlogs has been wonderful. I, I, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, like I've said in other vlogs, as a matter of fact, my vlog yesterday, I'm not out to be a superstar vlogger like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, or any of those guys. I just enjoy doing the videos. I enjoy doing the editing and I enjoy with this, I'm learning how to do different things. Uh, finding out it's getting to be a quite expensive hobby, but it, it is a hobby and I, I, I do enjoy doing it. Um, if anyone has any questions, comments, anything about my vlog, please leave me a comment below and I get back to you within a couple hours, easily within a couple hours. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all again tomorrow.